Hello and welcome to English Learning Station. This is Learn, Unlearn and Relearn series. In this episode, let us look at the usage of the plural form of nouns. When we refer to more than one number, we usually add the suffix yes or es to form the plural noun. For example, one book, three books, one bus, many buses. While we mostly get the plural form right, we might go wrong with some irregular plural noun forms. Our focus today is on those irregular noun forms. I guess most of us are aware that the plural form of child is children, ox is oxen, man is men, woman is women, foot is feet, tooth is teeth. We may also have to remember that the singular and the plural form remains the same for a few other nouns as well. Offspring, sheep, dice, advice, buffalo, salmon, swine, fish. The same norm applies to nouns such as spacecraft, aircraft, music, scenery, information, equipment, etc. The singular and the plural forms are the same. On the contrary, there are a few other nouns which exist only in the plural form. Let us have a look at them. Arms, arms, bowels, goods, headphones, scissors, tongs, spectacles, pants, trousers, valuables, ethics, mathematics, measles, mums. If a noun ends in Y and is preceded by a consonant, that is, any letter other than A, E, I, O, U, then we replace Y with E, S. For example, let us look at the noun lady, L, A, D, Y. The last letter Y in the word lady is preceded by the consonant D and hence the plural form is formed by replacing Y with IES. Lady, the plural form is L-A-D-I-E-S. So also, the plural form of baby is babies, party is parties, where the Y is replaced by IES. But check the plural form of the noun day, where the last letter Y is preceded by a vowel A. Hence, we only add a yes next to y to form the plural. Day, days. Monkey, monkeys. Toy, toy. Valley, valleys. Donkey, donkeys. In all of these nouns, the last letter y is preceded by a vowel. Therefore, we only add a yes next to y to form the plural. When a noun ends in f or fe, we replace the last letter F or the last two letters FE with VES to form the plurals. Knife, knives. Here we replace FE with VES. So also loaf, thief and life. Here the last letter F or the last two letters FE is replaced with VES. But if the F is preceded by a double vowel, such as OO or EE, then we add only a S next to F. For example, reef, R double -E EF, the plural form is reefs, where we add an S next to F to form the plural. Roof, roofs, proof, proofs. The same rule applies to some other nouns that end in an F. Though there may not be a double vowel preceding F, we still add an S to form the plural noun. Some examples are chief, the plural form is chiefs, where we add only a S next to F to form the plural. Gulf, gulfs, brief, briefs. Well, in some cases, the plural form of nouns ending in F could be represented in two forms. either by adding a S next to F 
or replacing F with VES. Dwarf. There are two different plural forms. Dwarfs where we add only a S next to F or replace F with VES. Dwarfs to form the plural. So also hoof, both hoofs and hooves is right. Scarf, both scarfs and scarves are right. Certain nouns in English which are derived from Latin and Greek have a unique plural form. For those nouns ending in US, we replace US in the singular form with I to form the plural noun. Nucleus in singular, the plural form is nuclei where US is replaced with I. So also cactus is singular, the US is replaced with I to form the plural cacti. Stimulus, stimuli. Fungus, fungi. Syllabus, syllabi. Alumnus, alumni. Focus in singular, while foresee in plural. We also happen to use focuses sometimes. Nouns ending in um. For those nouns that end in um, we replace um with the a to form the plural. Medium. The plural form is formed by removing um or replacing um with a. Medium, media. Bacterium, bacteria. Spectrum, spectra. Curriculum, curricula. Datum, data. Memorandum, memoranda. Millennium, millennia. Ovum, ova. Similar to earlier nouns where we replace um with a to form plural nouns, there are a few other nouns that end in on which are again replaced with a, a to form the plural noun. Criterion, criteria. Here in the singular form, the noun ends with the on which is replaced with a a to form the plural noun. Phenomenon, phenomena. Nouns ending in is. The plural form for nouns that end in IS in singular form is formed by replacing IS with ES. Thesis in singular form, T-H-E-S-I-S. The plural form is thesis, T-H-E-S-E-S. IS is replaced with ES. So also crisis, crises. Axis, axis. For nouns that end in EX or IX, there are two forms of plurals. While we replace EX or IEX with ICES in the formal usage, in certain contexts we also use ES. Matrix, it is either matrices or matrixes. Index, it is indices or indexes. Vortex, it is vortices or vortexes. Vertex, it is vertices or vertexes. Well, that's a small step towards unlearning and relearning the plural noun forms. But let me leave you with a word of caution that English has borrowed thousands of words from other languages and hence the plural forms might not strictly adhere to the rules and norms. Do check on the worksheet attached for practice. Hope you liked this video. Please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to English Learning Station. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Insta handles as well. Bye for now and see you soon.